Hey, welcome back. So this is part two of the kitchen diner and hallway renovation. If you missed part one, I'll leave a link in the description or you can click up on one of these links up here, wherever it is. Uh, that'll take you to part one because this one I'm going to be starting straight from where I left the last video off. Uh, so you, it might not make sense if you've not seen part one. But I will leave a little uh, recap now from part one just so you can jog your memory on what i did in part one get some plasterboards and attempt to stick them on it's literally just balancing in place at the minute And when I took the windowsill off, a load of bricks came out with it. I'm going to show you me doing my first ever brick. So we've had plaster out today. Start taking all these tiles up. That's where I've got to so far. Uh, it's quite uneven. It does sort of sink down at this edge a bit. Right, so that's the recap done. We'll jump straight into it. This bit is where... I'm just about to start pouring the floor, so yeah, let's see how this goes. Right, so that's the self leveled down. Uh, I ended up having to go back and get in some more. I've used six bags in total and two bags of sand. Um, as you can see, it were all out of level at that side. Um, this I, I had to put quite a lot there so I, I didn't didn't know but until I read bag you had to mix it 50-50 with sand if you are pouring it up to like 35 mil which is what I've done so there were like two bags with two bags of sand in that bit and then all the rest four bags just mixed up with water and uh, yeah I think it's it's looking pretty good now. It should uh, should be spot on when it's dried. So I don't know if you noticed, but we've got a lovely ceiling, and uh, it also went round this. We've just been talking to the neighbour, and he said that it were a fake wall sort of thing. We thought it were where Gerda went, but I've just uh, peeled all that lot off to find a fake beam <laughs> underneath it so it looks like we're going to be taking all uh, all this crap off at ceiling might as well do it now and get it out of the way because it's not very nice I just didn't want to have to do it because well I'm uh, kind of scared of what I'm going to find underneath it with uh, all the surprises we've had up to now um, also there were a box down there which I've taken out there were a, a pipe what what well it had already been disconnected so I've cut that off when I have a go at plastering that up and and uh, water meter there I'm going to put that up top and then fridge freezer is going to fit up against that wall nicely so yeah let's uh, rip all this lovely ceiling off and uh, see what we're left with. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but that is a light that my wife made out of toilet rolls and, and uh, other stuff. <laughs> yeah, pretty good, isn't it? All right, so that is the fake beam gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we took that down. If you look here, you can see the original ceiling up there it's about two inch higher we've got some beams uh, that I'm guessing run that way I'm not sure about this side because I can't see but it'll be similar sort of thing I imagine and uh, I believe this is a fake beam as well so that'll be able to come down we'll have like an extra two inch on the ceiling ah. right Let's get it all down. 
Whoa. Yeah. I don't know if it's better or worse. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're slowly taking some art just to see. I'm going to call it a night though because it's getting a bit late and I've got these lights to take down before the rest of it comes down. No idea what this side's going to be like. I'm hoping it's like kind of same as that. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when it's all down. Right, so that's all the first lockdown. Just got these uh, lovely beams to get off, which look like this. And yeah, making a, a lovely mess. I'm gonna take this, this first main beam off first, so I can put the lights back on before it gets dark, and then I can turn power back on. So yeah, bring back, bring it back when it's uh, when all these are off, and we'll see what we do after that. Right, so got all that lovely wood off of the ceiling. Uh, got this bit to clean up a bit, but you, you see I've cut an hole in the ceiling there. That is where them radiator pipes come down. So what I've decided to do is instead of having a radiator under that window. I've moved it and it is now there I think it'd be better because it's more central to the room rather than just having all the heat at one side so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out a bit more of this uh, plasterboard ceiling so I can run some new pipes which I've been out and got there so I'm going to finally get a chance to uh, test my plumbing toolbox out what I set up never done any proper soldering before so it's going to be a first for for this radiator um i've got some uh compression fittings uh which i'm going to do up here because these are the pipes there so i'm going to cut them off i'm going to use compression fittings up here rather than attempting to solder that for my first go uh same again they're going to come across here they're actually going to come down this wall so that they're out of way and I'm having them running across to radiator so I'm going to be soldering that fitting and the uh, the fitting here as well um, and then attaching them to walls so yeah let's uh, crack on get everything set up and see how this goes all right it's time to get this set up and uh, have a go at doing a bit of soldering. Right, so I'm going to start off just by simply trying to stick one of these on, uh, see how it goes. Next, we need to add a little bit of flux. and here we go let's uh, see how this turns out
Yeah. I think that is all right. Kind of run all the way around it. We're a bit, I probably got it a little bit too hot that. So. Right, yeah, have a look at this. So, this is my first ever soldered joint. Hmm, you'll have to let me know if you've done it before. Have I, uh, have I done a good job of that? Can't get it to focus. I don't think that's too bad. We will find out once I get all the water coupled up and if it leaks, I know I failed. Right, so far, these are what I've done up to now. They are for going there so that I've done a little uh, bend in it so it comes across. You know, these uh, had a little bit of a run but you know what, for for the first time ever doing um, soldering up, it's it's not bad, <laughs> not bad for a first attempt. Um, but I have put them uh, on off valves just in case I've got a leak. These are not fitted yet. I've used compression fittings for these, and they run across to here, and then. That pipe at back of it and that pipe there are, are these which conveniently got a, a valve on it as well. So I'm going to drain system through these and then I'm going to cut them two pipes and attach them with these compression fittings. I didn't fancy having a go at soldering that. <laughs> so all these should, should theoretically not leak and the bits that I'm doing here that could possibly leak I've got an off switch just in case so I've got to run a pipe down there now 90 degree bend here and across into these I've done one slightly longer than other so the longer one is in this side so that the pipes obviously one's above the other runs across nicely and then up the wall so yeah let's get that done now well hey there we go one radiator moved uh and i've just bled i've just bled it that's why there's a bit of water there but i've got no leaks no leaks that's not bad for a first time of that is it Eh, uh, gotta admit, I mean, me solders are not the best, but I, I, I've done quite a few and not one of them is leaking. I did have a little leak from one of them compression fittings up there, but I just nipped that up, so hopefully that should stay alright and then. Uh, Fitted it to the wall with some of them, uh, I forgot what you call them now, but yeah, chuffed to bits with that. Hey, hey. Right, so that's the, uh, well, most of the plasterboard up. Um, I got my nephew to give me an hand putting it up. It's, uh, it's, it's not bad. I think we're doing all right. Got newfound respect for the people that do this every day. It's it's not as easy as what you think. <laughs> Sticking these up, but yeah, we have got there in the end. Like I say, I've just got these little uh, little strip to put down this side. I want to change this pipe. This is the main water in pipe because originally the sink and kitchen units used to be there. Uh, so this is where the water comes in. Um, I had a water meter fitted here, which I want to put up here. 
Uh, so I've got that to change before I put rest of the uh, plasterboard up on that edge and then it's ready for the plaster to come out and uh, get a skim. So plaster has just been and uh, skimmed up the ceiling and touched up other little bits uh, they were like plastic trim round windows I pulled them off and it pulled some of the plaster off with it so patched everything in where we've raised the ceiling they're a little bit you know when we took all that, that wood down yeah looking really nice let that dry do a few little touch ups here and there and then we can get painted right it's time to get some blinds up I've uh, already put the brackets up use this little uh, marking thing to get me pilot holes I've set them away from the window a little bit because there's an handle so that should allow them to clear that so I've just got to measure up get this cut and then they can get put up there we go that's that blind up got that one to do now right so I just want to show you this simply just put what you want in position and you use this and you just get a little squirt and get up right over the hole can't see it and get another one and as you can see it leaves nice little green mark where you need to drill yeah Pretty good. Right, so that's the uh, primer coat. Um, it's like a water dam matte white, you know, to seal all the fresh plaster. It's uh, going to be ready. I mean, it's turned out all right, hasn't it? Starting to look pretty good now. Um, yeah, so on we're decorating. Not today though, we've had enough. Right, so that's pretty much the final coat. You might notice that bit of colour there, it goes down there, then onto that back wall there. Look, uh, we have got some wallpaper that's going to go around this wall, which will hopefully tie it all in, and then I'm doing some like wooden thing on on there um i did have to redo this bit uh, i had to mix a bit of plaster up and redo that because as you can see this it's got one of them plastic boxes on and you know it, it well it sticks that far off the wall i didn't want that so i've ended up chiseling out putting a new box in back there so we can have a, new, a nice new um plug socket flush up against wall and obviously got a new uh, light switch to replace that way as well so i'll get them uh, swapped over this paint is still wet i've literally just finished painting it so uh, but yeah it's uh i love that color it's really nice can't wait to get this wallpaper on and then i can uh, fit the uh windowsills but yeah I like it so that's a look at before and after it's uh, loads nicer that now just need to get new switch on now right so <clears throat> that's wallpaper on but we we're matching it up We've kind of run out, we haven't got enough to finish it, so we've just ordered another roll. Um, but we're looking at this box section, which is top step. And we think we're going to paint the bottom of it the same colour as well. We think it'll uh, blend in a lot better with that wallpaper. But yeah, if, if I uh, just ignore this section, 
it's kind of looking alright now. I can't wait to see it with windowsill on, it's going to really look good. Uh, as for doer, doers is one of the last things we're going to do. We're going to change all doers. Um, so we're probably going to have to just put up with a crap doer for now. But yeah, it's uh, starting to look really good now. So, I made a template for the uh, windowsill, as you can see. So I need to go and cut the piece that I'm going to use and hopefully it will fit. Right, so this is the piece that I'm going to use. I just marked it up, as you can see. And now I'm literally just going to chop it on this. I know, it's a bit messy. I will get round to sorting my work area out, but house is priority at the minute. So I'm going to get that cut and then we'll uh, take it back to see whether it fits. Right, that's nicely cut. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this uh, edge off. Uh, just a little, uh, you know, radius bit uh, down there and across here. And then that should uh, be lovely. There we go. It's one done. Another three to do. So I've given them quick sand. I'm just putting some of this wood stain on now. Uh, as you can see. What a difference that's made. Yeah. I like it. Right, so that's them stained up. Looking really nice. New plug socket, sockets. Uh, that one, I'm glad I changed it because the one that were there were wired up wrong. <laughs> They've got neutral on positive and positive on neutral. Don't know what difference it would make overall, but it's they're in right place now. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, quite happy with how them uh, windowsills are looking now. Right, so we're just sanding the stairs down. Uh, bought some new toys to do it with <laughs> got so far up my wife's scraping these bits off with heat gun and scraper and i'm sanding top parts uh we've got three more to do up there but they do look a lot better if you're looking down from it so i've got them them to carry on with that we'll get these done and see what it turns out like so that's the stairs almost finished. I decided to replace all that top bit because it had been proper butchered up. Um, looks a lot better like that. But as you can see, looking pretty good now. And now it's time to start putting the laminate down. I've already moved these out of the way. I'm going to start from under these and work my way all the way back. All the way through to... Uh, to this door here. This is the laminate that we're putting down. So let's get that started. Hey look at that. Starting to look well now isn't it? Just put washer and dryer back in place so it's opened a bit more space up. But yeah, quite like it. I'm gonna get all the rest done and then I'll show you when, what it's like when it's finished. Right, so that is the floor finally done. So, uh, very pleased. Don't think I've done too bad. It is my third ever attempt doing laminate flooring. This is by far the trickiest one. Yeah, we're just having a bit of a tidy up now. Uh, I've taken that door off. We'll be putting it back on. Uh, Gonna get a quick paint up though, just to make it look a little bit better until we get new doers. Because we're gonna buy new doers and put them, uh, you know, for every door basically at the same time. But yeah, I uh, really pleased. I think it looks pretty good. Got all the uh, all the skirting board. I've already picked it up. It's in in me. Uh, garden pub slash workshop so that is the next thing to do is 
yeah, we'll crack on. We'll get all that done. Right, that's the first piece on. I have screwed it and, well, don't like the look of the screws. So, well, my wife reminded me. She actually bought me this set for, I think it was my birthday or something. I've just done a little tester on here. So, I've got like a plug cutter and uh, this bit. So... This is the tester, as you can see, and then I can cut plug out, stick the plug in, trim it off flush, and just stick a little bit of stain on that, and then that lied all them screws. Right, so that is now complete again. Must admit, looks a hell of a lot better now. Without them screws showing. So, kind of forget what tools I've got. So, thank you to my wife for reminding me I've got this. Um, we'll bring you back when all the rest of the skirting board is finished. Some uh, a lot of cuts to do around this bit. That should be fun. But yeah, let's uh, come back when it's all done. So we decided we're not having the door back on there. Took it off, re-trimmed it all, which you must admit that looks great. <laughs> uh, not actually finished all the skirting board yet. I just thought I'd show you this because it was like an unexpected thing. What we're actually going to do in there instead is I'm going to be building like a, a mini bar sort of thing in there which that will be a separate video. But yeah, I think that looks great up to now, doesn't it? But certainly looks a lot better than what it did. Yeah, so I'll bring you back when I finish rest of the skirting board off. All right, so that's all the skirting board on. As you can see, my uh, wife painted all this banister. I think she's done a really good job of it. It looks really, I love that color. It looks really nice. I uh, I put some trim on, as you can see, and just tidies it up, makes it look finished now, and we'll put a stair runner on. Um, now, we, me and my wife both came to the conclusion that it doesn't actually fit in to the style of what we were wanting. Uh, we do both like it, but we just don't think it works. So, we've got another one here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to fit it just yet because we've still got bathroom to do and everything so this one's probably going to end up getting filthy uh, so I'll just put a picture up now we laid it over the top just to show you what it looks like uh, I think that looks a lot better and yeah as you can see going all the way around do I? the only thing I've not done is the trim around this door because well, I need to put a new door frame and a new door on, so that's another time when we get to doing the room up. But, yeah, I think that looks great so far. So all I need to do now is put a blind up, which I'll get that done, and then that's pretty much it. I'll show you all round what it looks like.
Right, so there we go. It's finally finished. That has been a hell of a lot of work. Um, well, when I say finally finished, I mean like 96% finished. Uh, there's a few things that I've got to make, like a new light fitting for one. Um, over here we have there's the electrical box. I need to build some kind of cabinet around that. All these things are going to be separate videos. Uh, so if that's something that you're interested in, then please consider subscribing. Uh, I will be probably starting on one of the new light fittings next. Um, but yeah, this were a big job. I've, I've learned a lot. I've uh, done a lot of things for the first time, like pl putting plasterboards up, plumbing. Um, you know, it's... It's, it's been hard work. I think I've done a pretty good job of it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Remember, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing so you don't miss the uh, light fitting build, which will be a new thing as well. I've never made a light before, so could be interesting. See how that turns out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.